Welcome to the 39th edition of the journals That Was the Week That Was show, or what's happened in the Highlands area this week. Let's get started. Virginia's Governor Northam signed another executive order with tighter restrictions due to COVID-19 cases increasing in the state. No more gatherings in excess of 25 persons, and kids as young as five must also wear masks. Covington's Mallow Road will continue to be closed through at least December 14th for good reasons. Section of the road need to be shored up lest they fall down the mountain. The Clifton Ford School of the Arts popular Chris Crindle Market is online this year, but there's still good reason to visit the school. The new illumination project is quite a thing to see. 30,000 lights until New Year's Eve. Covington High School track standout Austin Angle signed up with Concord College on Tuesday. Recruited by more than 80 colleges, Angle called Concord his dream school. More good news for the Area Chamber of Commerce. It just got notified of yet another nice grant for tourism in the amount of $10,000. The Covington Parks and Recreation Department is getting the city ready for the holiday season. Here's part of the crew installing decorations near City Hall on Thursday. Operation Christmas Child in the Highlands region has done very well. As of early Friday, over 1,400 gift boxes have been donated. More are being accepted at the Covington Bible Church this weekend as well. There will be no Iron Gate Christmas Parade this year, nor tree lighting ceremony, much to the disappointment of the entire Highlands area. The Iron Gate Town Council decided that recent COVID-19 regulations and health concerns necessitated the move. There also will be no Clifton Forge Christmas Parade, nor tree lighting ceremony either. Clifton Forge Main Street canceled both earlier this week. The town of Iron Gate is moving forward in an attempt to secure funding to replace all the water meters of its residents. Michael Jeffries of Thompson Litton told the town council that he believes some grant funding could be found to handle the cost. Boys Home has received a $25,000 matching grant from the Jesse Ball DuPont Fund for online donations only. Any donation from $1 to $500 will be matched one to one. And thanks for joining us today for our 39th show in this series. With more than 11,796 Facebook followers now, your readership is very much appreciated. See you right here again next week.